Hey everyone, it's Daisy here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this really cute kawaii pot plant succulent thingy. And this video is a collab with Candyware, Candice from Candyware. Make sure to check out her channel and also her kawaii succulent charm video. It is super duper cute. So yeah, let's get started with this video. What you will need is some chalk pastels of red tones and dark tones, as well as clay in this sort of color. You will also need a paintbrush and a blending tool, as well as a cutting blade. Also some glaze, I'm using Sculpey glaze, a dotting tool, and also a brush. So the first thing you wanna do is to create your pot plant. I'm gonna be using this nice blue color today, and right now I'm just making the base of the pot plant. Then I'm going to be rolling out without a rolling pin because I don't have a rolling pin but I'm going to be rolling out just like the top section of the pot plant that goes around the top and I'll just be cutting that into a straight edge with this little cutting blade. But the next thing is to make the soil and I'm going to be using this brown colored clay so I'm just going to flatten out until it's about the same sort of round shape as the base of the pot plant. Then I'm going to stick that on and then while I'm doing that I'm just making little pebbles from this awesomely spotted colored clay. I'm also going to texture the soil so it looks really you know, texturized and realistic as well as black pastel to give it some dimension and depth. Finally I'm going to be adding on the little pebbles onto the pot plant to, I don't know, make it look awesomely cute. Then I add the top part of the pot plant to finish the pot plant off. So that should look like this. Next we're going to be creating the petals or the leaves of the succulent. I'm going to be using this really bright green colour. We can always darken it with the pastels. So I'm just going to roll them up into little balls first and then flatten them out within my fingers and form kind of a diamond shape. So different succulents have different shapes of petals. I'm going to be doing like a diamond sort of one. Then I'm going to be using some red toned pastel and just kind of brush it on to the clay. And this will give it kind of like a more succulenty look if that's even a word. I don't know. Then I'm going to poke a hole into my pot plant and start putting the succulent into the pot plant. So we're going to be adding all of the different leaves that we've made previously. I recommend maybe making about 10 to 12, 13 leaves. And then we're just going to squish this in using our fingers as well as the blending tool. Last but not least, we want to add a cute kawaii face. So I poked some dots with the dotting tool and then I'm putting some brown round clay as the eyes. At this point you can use some black clay for the eyes and mouth, but I'm going to be using brown clay today because it kind of suits the earthy sort of feel to this creation. Next we're going to make the mouth and to do that just roll out a really thin snake piece and then cut a bit off with your cutting blade then with your little dotting tool you just want to place that onto the pot plant and somehow create a little mouth out of it I baked mine for too long and it came out burnt but I actually like the burnt sort of look so I'm gonna keep it like that Last but not least, after it's baked, you want to add some glaze. This is also optional. If you don't have glaze, you don't have to do it. But because it's a succulent, if you glaze just the leaves, it just looks amazing and more realistic. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm also just touching up on glazing the eyes and the mouth just to give it a bit more shimmer and shine. 
And that is it. That is the awesomely cute succulent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the Candyware channel and subscribe to her as well. I'll see you next time. Bye!